So, uh, looking at the Generation X in Korea, I think the, the, the policy maker in Korea has done a very good job in diversifying the technology solutions being used in, in that mix, but also diversifying the sources of fuel. And when you diversify your technology mix, but also the sources of fuel, you are achieving and delivering energy security for the country. So the, the policy maker, the energy policy maker has done a great job in, uh, in terms of that energy security objective. What would be missing right now or what needs to be worked on is the, uh, making all of these different generation mix assets become more optimal and more efficient. And uh, we believe that through digitization on software solutions, you can improve the overall efficiency of that mix. So you get more uh, output from existing assets, be it a gas turbines, steam turbines, uh, wind farms. Uh, through digital solutions, we're able to increase the output in, in these different assets. Uh, but also, uh, we have equipment upgrades. So not just the digital upgrade, but also uh, retrofits that can be installed in uh, power plants, conventional power plants, be it uh, gas uh, turbines, steam turbines, etc. And again, deliver more value, more output, uh, to the grid, to the grid in, in Korea. You, in, in many cases, the speed of delivery of this additional or incremental growth in output through digital solutions and retrofits is faster and cost less, margin cost less than adding new generation capacity. So we're working with the, uh, with the Genkos in Korea and with Kepco on optimizing the, inst the existing install base and getting more output from it through, like I mentioned, digital and also equipment upgrade, but also repowering. So going to old, uh, 20 years old gas turbines and replacing them with more advanced, more efficient gas turbines that deliver bigger output per unit of uh, fuel consumed. I think in, in, all, in many countries of the world, including Korea, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. That starts with uh, basic steps and basic foundations. And really, the, usually the, the, the first step is you need to connect the assets. Mm -hmm. uh, once you've placed sensors on the assets you have, the wind turbines, the gas turbines, the steam turbines, etc., uh, then you start to generate big data from these sensors. And then it's a matter of uh, uh, using a platform like Predix to convert this big data into analytics and into what we call uh, business intelligence and insights that you use to optimize how you run these plans. So uh, I think Korea has all the right ingredients for digitization. We look at the investment in the R&D, we look at um, the startups and the, the innovation coming out from the, to Korean companies, both digital but also in other technologies. Um, one of the most advanced countries in the world, look at fuel cell technology, for example, with the big support from the government for it. All of the niche new technologies in the energy sector uh, emerging in, in, this, in the industry, you can find them have a strong foundation in the Korean uh, industry. That, along with well-educated caliber and human capital development, investment in the uh, education and the mindset, changing the mindset to, towards digitization, all of these ingredients together would uh, speed the process of digitization of the Korean economy and the Korean energy infrastructure. So, uh, one of the challenges of transporting or transmitting electricity, transmitting electricity for long distances is that you lose part of this electricity through the, uh, the cables that, uh, for transmitting electricity on long distance. So, high voltage DC lines are specifically designed to reduce and minimize the losses when you are transporting electricity for long distances. When you look at Korea's plans to invest and grow in offshore wind, for instance, you need submarine cables that connect these offshore wind farms to the land uh, where the consumer is. And using high voltage DC lines typically would be the best way to, uh, to transmit this electricity to minimize the losses. So um, it's, I think it's for the, for the benefit and, and uh, for the, um, it delivers good value for the economy and by minimizing the losses on the grid, adopting this new technology for uh